So the Piggy True ending has been on for a few days now, and with the Piggy storyline officially over, at least until Piggy Inner City comes out, I got to thinking that there's a lot of mysteries that have remained unsolved. There's a lot of questions in Roblox Piggy that just were not answered. Now that the hidden ending has officially been found and the final cutscenes have been seen by everyone, there's a lot of things that make you just go, hmm. And so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 unsolved mysteries in Roblox Piggy Book 2. Now, before we begin, if you're new to the channel or if you just haven't yet, go ahead, hit that thumbs up button, the like button right underneath the video, and subscribe if you're new. We're going to be covering the rest of Roblox Piggy. There's not that much left. And then also Piggy Inner City when that comes out, along with a bunch of other secrets you probably don't know about. Anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the top 10 unsolved mysteries in Roblox Piggy Book 2. Starting off with the obvious one, the one most people are talking about, what in the world happened with Zizzy. Now, if you've seen the video that I made yesterday, you'll know that the ending cutscene, the after credit scene where Zizzy shows up, well, that's not actually Zizzy. There's a real good chance that that entire sequence is just in your head. It's a hallucination. And considering that the chapter that came out right before chapter 12, the distraction chapter, ended with Zizzy blowing up the refinery and then getting yoinked through a portal to the middle of who knows where, we never actually found out what happened to her. I was expecting her to show back up in the hidden ending and maybe pop up in another cutscene, maybe Pony finds her or something, but no. We just don't really know what happened to Zizzy. Maybe we'll find out in Piggy Inner City. On that exact same note, and probably a little bit more of a worse offender here, is actually what in the world happened with William. The entire reason that Willow Wolf decided to come with us on our journey up north in order to find the cure is so she could actually find her brother. Because keep in mind, her brother ran away in order to go find Daisy, who was up north with the military. And will we find out that in the heist the chapter, well, Daisy's actually infected. She's gone. So that means if William was up there with Daisy, he's probably running around in- Wait a minute. If Tiger blew up the lab on the way out because he placed the dynamites and William was still in the lab, did Tiger just blow up Willow's brother, William? We never really found out what happened with William and Willow never once mentions him again. Did Willow just forget she had a brother? I'm not really sure what's going on here. Coming in at number three on my list actually has to do with the factory chapter, chapter six. Throughout this whole chapter, as we're running through, we find a bunch of TSP members that have been trapped under some rubble or behind some barricades, and we never actually find out who did it. A lot of people think that Tiger did it, but that is not true, because in the notes for this chapter, we find out that it was some cold, mysterious presence. And the only cold, mysterious presence I could think of is the insolence, but obviously the infected isn't going to just grab people, knock them out, and then put them behind a barricade or a wall. So the real question here is, who in the world trapped the TSP? SP members if it wasn't Tigri. It can't be Dude Man because he only exists in our head. We actually haven't seen him in the real world yet, which means there's possibly some sort of real world smart, intelligent, insolence creature out there running around doing stuff. I actually have no idea. This was never answered. Now, coming in at number four actually has to do with the start of the infection. So by the end of book one, when we saw the true ending for book one, Mr. P revealed that it was indeed him that started the infection. He made the potions, he made the cure in order to try and save his wife, and obviously that went terribly wrong. However, throughout book two, there's hints and nods that it wasn't actually Mr. P who started the infection. And in the distraction chapter, T.O., Mr. Dude Man, he actually says this himself. He says that it was actually his friend who started the infection whenever he left our world, basically confirming that Mr. P isn't actually the one responsible for starting the infection. But then in chapter 12, in the hidden ending in chapter 12, T.O says that Mr. P did start the infection and he was actually just using free will. He wasn't possessed, he wasn't being influenced. And so at this point, we've gotten three different answers as to how the infection started. Did Mr. P do it? Was he influenced? Did Mr. P not do it? Was it Tio's friend who did it? We actually don't know because we've gotten a lot of conflicting answers here. Talking about the distraction chapter though, we actually get some hints about Zizzy's sister Z. Throughout the entire series, Z never speaks a word. And Minitune mentioned earlier on in book two that we'd find out why by the end of book two. And even in the distraction chapter, there's a bunch of hidden notes around the map that talk about Z not being able to speak. Tio himself even mentions it in the cutscene for the distraction chapter. However, by the end of book two, by the end of the hidden ending, it's never really talked about again or touched on. This could be something that Minitune explores in Piggy Inner City, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now let's shift gears a little bit and talk about a little bit 
bit of a controversial topic. I'm talking about the Easter egg inside the boat map. If you don't know what I'm talking about, on the boat map, the radio actually plays a pretty mysterious message with a bunch of hidden codes and words inside of it. And I'm not gonna argue whether it says Zizzy's never gonna speak or whether it says Z is never gonna speak, but the reason I'm bringing this up is actually because it's Captain Budgie's boat. This message is coming through her radio. And we already know that Captain Budgie is an evil, filthy liar. She lied about her arm being cut off. She told her entire crew that it was just an accident when in reality, she actually got attacked by an infected and had to cut it off to save her life. So if this weird message is coming through her radio on her boat and it's by someone in the insolence, that means that Captain Budgie is in contact with Tio or someone else in the insolence, but we actually never really find out who or why in the world she has contact with them. Again, that may be something that Minitoon explores in Piggy Inner City, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, I couldn't really do a top 10 unsolved mysteries list without throwing this one on here, but this spot is just for Mr. Tio's friend, AKA Mr. Stitchy, if you believe that's who it is. In the distraction chapter and all throughout book two, even some spots in book one, there's various notes hidden around the maps and Mr. Tio himself even mentions that he has a friend, the friend that's from beyond. This mysterious creature from beyond the void that befriended Tio in the first place and started this whole mess. But we never actually find out who it is or what in the world they want or if they're even around anymore. Are they the ones in charge of the insolence? Is Tio just like an underling? Is he the second in command or is he in charge of everything? Again, this is probably gonna be something that Minitoon explores in Piggy Inner City. I, I doubt this is the last time we see or hear of Tio and Mr. Stitchy, but it is kind of a shame we didn't get a solid answer as to who Tio's friend is. Now let's go back a little bit, back to chapter five, the sewers, one of my favorite maps in book two. On this map, in the underground part of this map, well, I guess it's all underground, but in the underground, underground part of this map, there is a secret little school. There's a bunch of rusted chairs that are really old next to a chalkboard, and behind that chalkboard is a giant whispering insolence eye. Now that's not the creepy part. The creepy part is in this classroom, there is a fresh chair. There is a chair right here that is not rusted, meaning it is a brand new chair that was just put there. And while well, the last time I checked, the insolence don't really carry chairs around, nor do they really sit down and just have a break, which means there's someone alive and well out there in the world that carried that chair all the way down there in the sewers just to go to this weird cult insolence meeting thing. Who put that chair there? And why in the world are they in the sewers listening to the insolence I whisper to them. Now you're probably tired of hearing this at this point, but I imagine this will be something we explore in Piggy Inner City, or at least I hope. Now coming in at number nine is actually one of my personal favorite mysteries in the game, and also something Minitoon said we would eventually find out, even though we haven't yet, and that is what in the world happened to Zizzy's sword. As we all know, in book one, Zizzy carried around a fencing sword. Her sisters even have one. They even have them in book two. However, in book two, every time we see Zizzy, she doesn't have her sword. She didn't have it in chapter one. She didn't have it in chapter two. And honestly, if she had her sword, she probably wouldn't even have gotten infected. She would have been able to fight off TSP and Willow and the infected, but she doesn't have her sword. She's just got her bare hands. And if we go to the safe place map, we can even see on the wall, her sword is missing. It's no longer there. So what in the world happened to her sword? Did someone take it? Did she lose it? Where did it go? Why did it go there? Who knows? I have no idea, but I'm, I'm really curious. Now coming in at number 10, I could not put this on the list. I know technically it's book one and the title says book two mysteries, but back in chapter 10, the mall map, you guys know where this is going. There's a note on the floor that says, don't trust the SI. This note is probably one of, if not the biggest mysteries in Roblox Piggy. For the past two years, we've been trying to figure out what this note means. And unfortunately it doesn't look like we ever will. Does this note say, don't trust the SI silver paw? Don't trust the silver paw? Could, could that be what the note says? Well, probably not because the note's not big enough to write that on there. I know a lot of people, a lot of players, and a lot of YouTubers think it says don't trust the signal, but I mean, what? 
what, where, where's the signal? We're done with book two and I haven't heard anything about a signal, so that can't be it. So don't trust the SI. What, what, what are we not trusting? Man, this is going to drive me insane. Hopefully we find out some of these answers in Piggy Inner City. Anyway, though, let me know which mystery is your favorite down below or if you have your own theories on what happened to Zizzy's sword or who Tia's friend is or why Willow decided to forget her brother exists. Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!